Well, hello, hello, hello to all of my amazing Capricorns. Wherever Capricorn is in your chart, in your birth chart, and to pull your free birth chart, please go to Google and type in free birth chart and pull your free birth chart so that you can see where or if Capricorn is even in your chart. But this is for my Capricorns, wherever Capricorn falls in your chart. So not just your sun sign, whether it's your moon, rising Venus, but wherever Capricorn falls in your chart, I am talking to you. So please only take what resonates with you. We are in a, the energy has already been cleared. We are still in the last quarter moon in Aquarius. So you have time before this solar eclipse and the new moon in Taurus. Okay, let's go. The energy of money is, and I'm talking about big money, is very attractive to you. So you all want to get as far away from negative energy as humanly possible. You know, get your rest. Get your rest. All right, so here we have, let's start with this right here. We have the Three of Swords and the Four of Swords. Rest is going to be really, really important for you all right now because, again, you're entering into a new cycle and also a new phase, right? Everybody is entering into a new phase and a new cycle. I always say my Capricorns are the best sign. You all are like the tour guides for the earth because you all are um, cardinal signs. You all are initiated. You kick off winter solstice in the northern hemisphere, so death rebirth is something that's not foreign to you all. If you all really paid attention to how powerful you all are as Capricorns, you all are very loyal. You're hardworking. You all are very creative signs. You all are great managers of people, money, and time, self-control, self-discipline. You all are responsible, very classy, ambitious. You all are team players. And so you all, like I said, are the tour guides for the earth, right? Because in all, you all can also show Virgos and Taurians how to, you know, step outside of that realm of fear, false evidence that appears real. That's why I talk with a lot of you all about, talk to you a lot about making sure that if you move from one job to the next or from one location to the next whether it's across the country or to another continent or to right down the street wherever you move to or move from one relationship to the next you want to keep things that remind you of the good times but make sure it doesn't trigger something negative in you as well right so of course if you move from one relationship to the next you can't take the person into this ne this new relationship some people actually do. They do stay in contact with exes and just create a real whole messy situation. But you can keep things with you like, you know, whatever you picked up from that situation. Maybe you, you know, um, got a new, uh, learned a new recipe from a person or something like that, where again, it's not disruptive to your new relationships. Um, and it's not going to trigger certain things, you know, depending on what it is. But again, I do see somebody healing themselves, healing their own broken heart. You know, something that may have happened to you a long time ago, but I do see somebody finally getting some rest, finally getting their sleep and staying focused, right? Um, this death rebirth for you all, you are meaning that you all really bounce back, not the easiest, but you bounce back from situations that have ended moving into this new realm. You may still be talking about it. Like, let's say, for instance, you move across the country and you're missing your friends from where you were before. Um, you got to also recognize that it's also making room for this, right? Big money coming across your path and the energy of money is very attractive to you because of your very relatable, very down to earth, very maternal energy. I'm talking to men Capricorns as well, not just the women, just because you see the queen of, um, pentacles here, but this is this, you all are divine feminine signs by default. And what I mean by that is your energy is cyclic, Right. Um, so divine masculine, divine feminine has to do with pro how you process things. You just take some time to kind of sort of evaluate the situation and kind of observe things and process it before you come back out and, and take action, whether it's verbal, nonverbal or whatever, but taking action, that's your divine masculine. But anyway, moving forward, this is what's coming your way. Big money is coming your way. It's very, very attractive to you. So during this time of, of us being in this last quarter moon, in Aquarius, you want to be very careful about this new vision you have for living, working, and creating. You got to be careful about the energies that want to attach themselves to you, Capricorn, because some signs will see big money attached to you and be everything you need them to be in order to get to this, your money, right? 
So I see you all speaking negativity away, like shooing it away, like burning some of those relationships and saying, and feeling a thousand percent better. So it's not weighing you down heavily. I think in the last reading, I mentioned something about you and somebody else was probably praying the same prayer, you know, that, you know, that they wouldn't hurt you anymore. And so just give them the strength to just leave a situation permanently. And it also, one of the prayers that you prayed is just like, I just want this to stop, but I don't know why I can't, you know, pry myself away from this job or pry myself away from this person or no matter how much it hurts. So I'm seeing some answered prayers here. Somebody may have cried out to, you know, cried out to source and your ancestors came, your, you know, source sent ancestors. We're right here to help you with healing your own broken heart. So get some rest. Problem solved. Problem solved. So yeah, let's, let's keep it moving. Let's keep it moving again. This is motivational Monday. So in, in essence, what, what source is doing for you, Capricorn, and this is what I want you all to see is making room for the wealth that you deserve, right? The energy so that you can really enjoy this earth. So you all will be a great sign to teach other signs like, hey, you know what? If something is released from your life, let it go. Like seriously, just let it go because you all have walked the journey. This is not something you've heard about. You've walked the journey. If people want to remove themselves from your lives, let them go. It may be painful, but watch how much energy you have. Get some rest. Watch how much energy you have after you start focusing on healing yourselves and moving forward. Nine of swords. This is how somebody was like literally lying in bed, crying, felt like nine, just nine swords was just stabbed into them. And that's how painful it was to move on from a broken heart from somebody. So, but again, you did it. You did it with this, the help of source and the help of your ancestors, removing some people from your space, even though you felt like, okay, this is somehow tied to my past. They're somehow tied to my past, but you were able to do it. So expect big money to come across your path. And now you get very specific about what kind of energies that you want in your life. Not about, oh, I wish if this person had just done this, we could have been so great together. Mm -mm, nope. I am enough. I am destined to succeed. Absolutely. Absolutely. And then we have the soul's entire existence depends on the certainty that it is enough. Being whole, nothing can exist outside it. That's right. That is correct. Remember, we're moving towards the solar eclipse, which is also the same day as the new moon in Taurus. So prosperity a lot lies ahead for everybody who knows their self-worth. That's key. You got to know your self-worth. What do you need to release? Yeah, what? And in this case, what or who do you need to release, right? Do you need to release some emotions tied to this energy? Like, I, I didn't close it out. I wish I had closure. I just need to talk to this person one last time. If it's closed out, let it be closed out. God already did it for you. It's already closed. What, what last conversation you need to have? What last words you need to say, right? This is a rebirth. There's nothing else that needs to be said. If they're gone, block the number. I know somebody thinks that this may be cold or whatever, but it's not. Recognize that God did it for you, right? Take a deep breath. Take a deep breath. One plus nine is 10. 10 is the number of instant manifestation. Breathe something out that you want. What is it that you want? Speak it into existence, right? But again, God did it for you. No matter how much your flesh is hurting and no matter how sad you could be about a situation, you had to leave home and you're not going back to that place anymore because it's dangerous or whatever, or, you know, or you left the relationship and, or they left you. It doesn't matter. God closed it out for you. That's the closure you need to get. You get it from God, not from them, because no matter what they say, it's not going to satisfy. It's not even going to make sense. So that is what I have for you. Again, happy motivation on Monday. Again, get ready for wealth coming across your path. This is what you deserve. So you do not deserve questionable behavior in your life. Okay. That's what I have for you. Have a great one. Bye.